Of this at Squash, the Everyday Squash Cook. Uh, joining me this morning is Rob Firing. Uh, Rob, I, I know you as a publicist normally for HarperCollins. Yes. You've worked with some of the best cooks out there, some of the best chefs out there. I have. And now you yes. are venturing into the world yes. of being an author. And what a great book, by the oh, way. Oh, thank you very much. How did it happen, first off? Well, uh, I had a lot of fun writing it. I was, uh, I was uh, sitting at work doing my job, looking at these two books that were doing incredibly well. One was about kale, the other was about quinoa. And I said, why are these two things getting all the attention? What's, what's the next thing that sh should have this? So I thought squash, because it's our crop. It's a crop of the Americas. It's been here for 10,000 years, maybe even a, bit, a little bit longer before the Europeans arrived. It's incredibly nutritious, much more than, than people think. Really delicious, really versatile. And, and affordable. And very affordable, and it's here all year. Yeah, so we have a good selection that's here. But right here, you have a new take on, you know, squash. I mean, Usually it takes too long to cook. That's it, what I think. It, 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 it can take a little bit longer. We have recipes this is fast, for eh? quick recipes in the book. Um, this one's really fast. I mean, this, as you see, is going to take about 25 seconds. So we're just taking the squash. Yeah, and I've just, just peeled gonna, it. Yeah, you just gonna peel, peel it right down back. like that. Oh. It's, it's really, yeah, yep. just a little bit harder. A little bit but yeah. harder. You need a little extra yeah. strength. There, there, you, there go. you go. There you go. And you end up with these little strips. We call this butternut bacon. Mm -hmm. uh, here's a, a finished uh, plate over there. Uh, and as you can see, it's cooking right away. And it, it turns into this uh, crispy on the outside, soft in the middle pumpkin-y chip. Children adore you when you make these for mm -hmm. them. Uh, okay. Squash is incredibly nutritious. The vitamin A off the chart. This butternut squash here, which is the one we're using, has uh, roughly 400 percent of the daily value uh, that you need and in less than a cup of vitamin A. You can add those uh, what I would call chips to the top of a green salad if Absolutely. you want to just for a little bit of color. Totally. Uh, yes. You can use them as a, as a supplement of course to potato chips and you have to also a dessert selection here too. Those it, are those are butternut brownies made again with this squash and it's basically cooked squash that's been made into the brownies. It, there's I mean I, that's just for the taste. Butternut is kind of like it sounds. It's this buttery, nutty, sweet squash. Very versatile. Uh, and as you can see, you can go uh, savory, you can go sweet, and it really uh, takes spice very, very well. On the far end of the table there, too, you also have a selection of different items from the cookbook. That's yeah. right. These take a little bit longer, but not long. These are, these are 25 minutes in the oven. Uh, and these, this is just the ball of the butternut squash once you're done with this, with this neck here. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just stuffed with uh, croutons and kale and blue cheese. And uh, that's an acorn squash with, uh, with arugula and there's bacon. And we, that's bacon wrapped butternut squash is what we call that. And uh, that's another quick, that's a whole meal. I mean, you can give one of those to just a person. And uh, you can basically use that as, as uh, what you're eating for dinner or lunch. And they're their own bowl as well. They're and they're their own bowl. Uh, what's your favorite squash? Well, I like that orange one. It's, that's only available for, uh, for a few months. There's not as many grown. That's a very flavorful squash. That's a Hubbard squash. Really, really pumpkin-y. If you're looking for that stereotypical pumpkin spice taste, that is the one. Mm -hmm. This is great for versatility. You can do mm -hmm. all kinds of things with it. And this is, there are no seeds. It's all, all food. Spaghetti squash. You, you partially cook that and claw out the, uh, and it comes the out. strand. It comes out in pasta strands. I mean, it's, it's really amazing. How many different recipes are in the book? Itself? There are more than 100 recipes in this book, mostly winter squashes, but also some summer squash, too. The zucchini, remember, is a squash, as you know, of course. And you can um, peel it and make it just with this peeler and make it uh, a salad raw, very nutritious, lots of vitamin C, and just put some vinaigrette on it and... Uh, and uh, some uh, tomatoes and herbs and whatever you like. I know a lot of and raw food yes. chefs use that as yes, well. Yes, exactly. And, and, and if you grow a zucchini, you know you get too much of it all the time. That's too. right. And you, you know, it's it's so quick. You you look like a genius. It's um, it's uh, it's incredibly easy, and it's it's. It's fun. It's just a squash is a fun food to work with. Yeah, so it's called the Everyday Squash Cook. It's available at most major bookstores right now. Yes. Uh, and on Twitter, what's your Twitter handle? It's at the Squash Cook. Oh, thank you very much, Rob. Congratulations on the book. Thank you. Eat healthy, everyone. We're going to take a break right now from Breakfast Television. Happy Monday.